Among the crowd at this Halifax mosque are university students from Saudi Arabia. We don't know who they are because they're afraid to identify themselves for fear of what their government might do to their families back home. They were ordered out of Canada last summer. Some of them, it was, they were really sad about that. They were about to finish, they settle here, they have been here for years, they know the city, they have their homes, their cars, their belongings, everything. Nine months later, CBC News has learned many of the students stayed, or left, and came back. It took us a while to even absorb it. Then I went into depression. This Saudi student, whose identity we are protecting, was on a full scholarship from the Saudi government. He's managed to stay by paying his own way. We're broke. We used everything we have. I would say that was the hardest period of my whole life. But many students were able to continue without losing their Saudi scholarships. Medical students specifically were allowed to continue, as were students whose studies were nearly complete. There are still about 5,000 Saudi students studying at Canadian universities, down 2,500 from before the diplomatic crisis. Over the ensuing weeks, through really good, effective dialogue, we had the opportunity to, uh, to make sure the worst did not occur. For universities, those students mean money because international fees are so much higher than Canadians pay. Mount St. Vincent, for example, took a $900,000 revenue hit. Others, like Dalhousie and McGill, which have med schools, were less affected. The big thing that did for us it ex is it exposed just how vulnerable we are. Teaching hospitals rely heavily on Saudi residents to provide vital patient care. The Saudi government is not expected to sponsor any new students when current students graduate. So in Nova Scotia, for example, the province is funding new resident positions for Canadians. And universities are trying to attract students from other countries to help close the gap and reduce the risk. It's a political issue. This Saudi student calls his government's decision childish and irrational. Resolve it in any political way you see, but don't involve students and people who are trying to to study and make a living and we have nothing to do with all of this. He says he had planned to go home after completing his education but now hopes to stay in Canada. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.